hello and welcome back to my channel how are you all doing hope you're well so today I'll be showing you how to make this gut healthy fermented broccoli if you want to know how to make this fermented broccoli please keep watching to begin let's talk about the ingredients I've got some black peppercorns here and you can choose to use as little as you want or as much as you want Next, I've got some fresh basil from the garden. This is optional. Then I've got my sea salt. I'm using one tablespoon of sea salt. Three cloves of garlic. A glass jar. Two cups of water and of course the star of the show broccoli I'm using two heads of medium-sized broccoli for this fermentation now I've separated the florets from the stalk and we'll go ahead to cut the florets into smaller pieces Now, this is how I'm cutting the broccoli florets into smaller pieces. I'm basically cutting each floret into four from the head to the stalk. Now that I'm done cutting them, this is what they look like. Next, I'm going to make my brine by adding a tablespoon of sea salt to two cups of water. I'm going to give it a quick stir so as to make sure that the salt dissolves properly. Now, this is the interesting part. Remember to always wash your hands when fermenting vegetables so as not to introduce bad bacteria into your fermented vegetables. This is in no particular order, but I'm going to start with the basil and then some broccoli, a few peppercorns, and push down the vegetables to create more space. And I'm going to add some garlic and more broccoli until the jar is full. A great tip when making fermented vegetables is to always make sure you push the vegetables down in, in the jar so as to let as much air out as you can. By the way, I've got other fermented videos up on this channel. I'm going to link one of my favorite ones somewhere above this video. Please feel free to check it out. Now that the jar is fully packed, I'm going to pour in my salt and water mixture, also known as the brine, and put the lid on. For this step, make sure that the vegetables are fully submerged in the water. The next step is to leave this to ferment for two weeks.
Isn't this just beautiful? You can see some garlic, the black peppercorn. It's just pretty and the color looks fantastic. Now, this is two weeks later and look at this beauty. The vibrant green color in the beginning has turned dull. I can't wait to try this. I would highly recommend everyone to try out this recipe because it was super delicious and flavorful. I went through this jar in 3 days and made another batch. And a good thing to always remember is that fermented veggies are very beneficial to our overall gut health and easy to make and very cheap as well. Next thing I'm going to do is transfer this jar into the refrigerator and it can keep in the refrigerator for about 3 to 6 months but to be honest, none of my fermented vegetables lasts for 3 months because I go through them really quickly. As always, if you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a like and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please click the notification bell icon so that you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.